Hi guys, what's up? This is everything you need to know about the new iPhone launch. So there are four new models as expected, iPhone 15, 15 Plus, and iPhone 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max. iPhone 15 will have the same display, with the 15 Plus having a new 6.7 inch display. The Pro models have no changes to the screen size. All of them have a 2000 nits higher brightness that's perfectly viewable outside. The pill cutout, aka the dynamic island, has made its way to all models this year. iPhone 15s have slightly modified, rounded edges that smoothly melt into the device, which is great. The 15 Pros are built with a new durable super light titanium enclosure with a beautiful brushed matte sheen which is amazing because it won't attract any fingerprints anymore. The standard iPhone 15 has 5 colors with this new pink and the Pros will have 4 colors with this new natural titanium, dark and smoky, it's sweet. All around the colors have a more satin finish. The standard iPhone 15s are more like Pros from last year cause the use of A16 from the previous iPhone 14 Pros. That's how they've been doing it for a while. But of course, the 15 Pros have got a new A17 Pro chipset. They named it Pro 2. The chipset is the world's first 3 nanometer architecture. Basically, each transistor is 3 nanometers. It means you can fit more of them into a chip. In this case, there are 19 billion of them, making it more faster with a higher efficiency. They also mentioned the neural engine is two times faster. We'll definitely find out how this may affect the real world use soon. The GPU is 20% faster and it will support ray tracing, providing a new level of realism to games. One amazing thing is that all four iPhones are now shifted towards USB-C. Finally. Only one versatile cable for everything? It's great. it's great. The Pro models even have a USB controller on board that lets you access very fast 10 gigabits per second USB 3 transfer speeds. Another thing is that the new iPhone 15 Pros have reinvented the mute switch into an action button that is customizable with whatever you want it to do. It still works as a mute switch if you click it once. Now you can also associate it with an action like open up the camera and use it like a shutter button or turn on the flashlight, start a voice memo and you can even go create your own personalized shortcut. Apple is clearly starting to learn how customization works. So there are now some great camera improvements. The regular 15 will now have a 48 megapixel new main camera and an updated 2x telephoto lens. The images should now have a more higher resolution with better low light capability and a greater improvement in portrait mode. The iPhone 15 Pros have an improved main and telephoto camera. The main now has three variable focal ranges of optical zoom, 24, 28 and 35, and a larger telephoto lens with a 3x optical zoom up to 5x with 120mm focal range on the 15 Pro Max models. Generally, 120mm lenses are quite large. To achieve this on the phone, they used a new prism shaped lens that bounces off light in a certain way to mimic a large 120mm lens. That's actually a lot of zoom. We would hardly have to use the software zoom anymore, which is good. With all these hardware upgrades and better imaging processing with the new chip, we're expecting a substantial improvement in cameras, especially for the larger 14 Pro Max. Also, there is a new coating on the camera lenses that reduces lens flare, which iPhones have been suffering from a long time now, especially when you capture images with direct light. I hope this works. One more thing, all the images you take capture also depth data every time. So you don't need to open up portrait mode in order to take a portrait. You can go ahead and edit the images afterwards and control how much blur you want in the background and even change the focus of the subject. 